Hi, this is my students. Welcome to homework 3.5, Proportional Relationships. Uh, if you're watching the video, go ahead and give yourself a mark. Uh, it's practice homework and student model calculators are okay. So it says complete the missing information in the chart below. So first of all, if we've got 24 over 2, um, it's going to be very helpful uh, to fill out this chart first in order to get the graph. So let's go ahead and find our constant of proportionality. 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12. So that means if I rent a bike for one hour, the total cost is going to be $12. Just like if I rent a bike for zero hours, the total cost, total cost is going to be $0, right? Um, that means our constant of proportionality is just going to be times uh, 12 all the way up this table, right? So that means this is going to be $36. This is going to be $48. And I'll let you fill in the rest after $60 here. Um, using the constant of proportionality. So now, since we have some of these uh, points, we can go over our graph, right? Um, our graph here on the x-axis will be hours. On uh, the y-axis will be money. And we'll just say for zero hours rented, right? This is x, this is y. Uh, it costs $12. So we just go ahead and put uh, zero, zero right there. Uh, for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 hours, we're going to figure that out. So for 1 hour rented, it costs $12. So my scale should be 12. For 2 hours rented, it costs $24. So I'm going up by 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, uh, 84, 96, etc. So for three hours it should be 36, for four hours it should be 48, for five hours it should be 60, for six hours it should be 72, seven hours 84, eight hours 96, uh, and nine hours 108, right? So then you take your ruler and you draw a straight line through that proportional graph. Uh, so our equation here is simple. It's y is equal to our constant of proportionality 12x, right? So verbal description is going to be simple. Uh, a bike rental company uh, rents bikes to tourists. They charge $12 uh, per, sorry, that's a, dollar sign and a one, twelve dollars per hour to rent a bike. All right, uh, and then the proportionality, how do we know it's proportional? Well, one, uh, it passes through uh, zero, zero, or the origin. Um, two, uh, it's a linear or straight line linear parentheses straight uh, line um, and then three we get we've got a constant of proportionality uh, k is equal to uh, y divided by x which is equal to uh, as we found out our constant of proportionality in this case uh, at every uh, point is uh, 12 right okay so it says uh, the bike rental company has determined that they will charge based on the nearest half hour so if Michael rented a bike for 5.5 hours how much would that cost so if they're charging on the nearest half hour it's like you rent something and then you get it for five and a half hours and they say oh nope that's actually gonna be six hours right um, so then all we do is plug this into our equation y equals 12 X y equals 12 times 6 right so uh, that's going to cost us uh, y is equal to um, $72. Uh, what point does 784 represent? Uh, that means a bike was rented. And again, you just ask yourself, okay, if this is x and this is y. What do x and y mean? Well, x is, if you go back up to our graph, it's the hours, right? And y is the, the dollars. So a bike was rented for, for seven hours and costs 84 to rent. 
very simple. Okay. Um, if a customer has fifty dollars to spend, how many hours can they rent the bicycle? So you have fifty dollars uh, to spend. How many hours can you rent the bicycle? So if you go here to your total cost table, right? You can definitely do it for one. You can do it for two, three. I can do it for four. I couldn't do it for five because that would cost me sixty dollars. Uh, so according to my table. I could rent it for four hours. Oops. I'll go on to the back here in a second. Hours. All right. Now, the back side, uh, I'm only going to do maybe one or two questions. Uh, and basically, it's the process of just writing what you're comparing, writing two proportions, and then solving. So. A model, a model satellite is six centimeters wide. If it was built to the scale of two centimeters to five centimeters, uh, then how wide is the real satellite? So uh, something like maybe we're comparing, if I have the width, I probably also have the height, right? Um, so height over width. And they were telling me uh, it was built to a scale of two to five, two to five. And what does this equal then if I have uh, six centimeters wide? So um, I have uh, x over six. I messed up. This should be width over height. My fault. Um, so width over height. So that means it's six over x. Uh, and then I cross multiply and solve. So two times x gives you two x. Uh, 5 times 6 gives you 30, and then 2 times what is 30, or simply the same thing is divided by 2, so x is equal to 15, so d. Uh, it says find the distance uh, between Rivertown and Salem on a map if it's 3 inches to 17 miles, if they're actually uh, 51 miles apart. So what am I comparing? I'm comparing inches, and I'm comparing miles. That very first ratio is 3 to 17, so 3 over 17. And the next ratio says 51 miles, so miles needs to go on the bottom, so x over 51. Again, I just cross multiply to solve, so I have 17x is equal to um, 153. Same thing as dividing by 17. And then I just say x is equal to 9 inches, right? So d. And the last one I'll do, it says a model statue has a scale of 3 inches to 2 feet. Um, if the model statue is actually 21 inches tall, then how tall is the real statue? So again, we're comparing inches to feet. Uh, I have 3 over 2 to start. is equal to 21 inches tall, so inches go on the top, so 21 over x. Cross multiply and solve, right? 3 times x is 3x. Uh, 2 times 21 is 42. Uh, simply divide by 3, and x is equal to 14. All right, the rest are yours, uh, and please call me if you have questions.